Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTanHouseLiving.com and today I'm pretty excited to be able to share a delicious recipe that we make here and it's a pork loin roast with blueberry balsamic glaze and we're going to be cooking it in our delicious sous vide yes it is delicious and we're going to be making the bags to cook the pork loin in with our food saver and I'm going to show you just how easy this is to do and what a delicious pork loin dish you will get from it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is cut the bag and get it ready to put our pork loin in. We figured out just about how much space we needed. You can pull it to adjust to any size. And now we're going to cut the bag and all you do is you slide that across and pull it out and now you have your bag cut and you'll see that it's open on both sides of the bag so we have an opening here and an opening here and now all we need to do is seal it so we have the pork loin in the bag and clearly we cut a little too big of a bag but that's okay we can always trim it and then seal it What it's doing right now is removing all the air, as you can see. And it's going to seal the other end. Okay, so our pork loin is done. We have both ends sealed up and ready to go. And I have to say, this is the most brilliant thing that I've ever used, especially for cooking in your sous vide. It was so easy to do. It took just a few quick minutes. I have all my spices and everything marinating in my pork loin, and it's ready to go. So I have my sous vide on the proper temperature. Um, I'm gonna set the timer for about four hours to cook, and it should be all ready to go. And it's as simple as just dropping your pork loin or any food that you want to cook right inside there and then placing the lid on top of it. And there we go. And that's why I especially love this food saver because it made cooking with my sous vide so much easier. Before I'd have to go buy special bags for it and now it's so easy to cut the exact size that I need. It takes all the air right out for me so that it can cook perfectly in my sous vide. And I'm going to show you my finished recipe of pork loin roast with blueberry balsamic glaze. So here's the pork loin. I just took it out of the sous vide. And as you can see, the bags held up beautifully. These bags are absolutely a dream to use in your sous vide cooker and I am thrilled to be able to have this food saver because it really does make sous vide cooking a breeze. It literally took me all of 10 minutes to make my bag, prep this and get it in my sous vide. It was that quick. Okay, so I just checked back four hours later and my sous vide pork loin is now done. And what I'm going to do next is take it out of the bag and I'm going to just roast it in the oven for about 10 minutes just to get the top crispy. I'm going to put a little bit of additional spices on it and I will show you that next. And what we're going to do is pop it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes just to get a nice little brown crispy delicious topping um, like coating on it and then it'll be done and I will make the blueberry balsamic glaze. An important thing to remember when you're making your blueberry balsamic glaze you want to make sure that your blueberries are very dry because they will like explode so be very careful to um, take some paper towel after you wash them and just give them a pat dry and then they'll be perfectly safe for cooking. 
So the very first thing you want to do is dice your onions pretty small because you don't want them to be too large in this sauce. So just a small dice and brown them in some butter and just let them get nice and golden and brown. So I have my brown sugar ready to go. I use about a cup. You could use less if you don't like things too sweet, but we do, so we use about a cup. And I have about a cup of balsamic vinegar, and I have my blueberries all washed, and I'm gonna dry them up a little bit more before I put them in. So now my onions got nice and golden brown, and I put the blueberries in, and what we wanna do is just let them simmer for about 10 minutes until the blueberry starts to break down and you will see that when it starts to happen and then you can add your brown sugar and your balsamic and I will show you what that looks like next. So now our blueberries are nice and ready to go. They've broken down quite a bit and you can see they've made a wonderful little sauce in and of themselves. And we're ready to add our brown sugar. So you just wanna add your brown sugar and give it a good stir. Let that dissolve and melt into the sauce. And then once that's done, you're ready to add the balsamic. So now you can see the blueberries start to break down and that's what we want because we want this to almost be like a jelly-like texture after it's done cooking and when it cools down. And it becomes like thick, um, not as thick as jelly, but um, very close to it. So just keep cooking and stirring for about 10 minutes. So once the balsamic starts to reduce the blueberry glaze will become thicker in consistency and that's when you can take it off the stovetop and pour it over the pork loin or any of your other favorite recipes. It's very versatile and I love putting it on top of a bagel and eating it just like that. So be sure to also check out the Food Saver 4440. It's literally changed the way that I cook with my sous vide and the way that I seal and protect and preserve my foods, fruits, and vegetables. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and have yourself a great and safe day.